So let's look at the question now. Jason spent one fourth of his money and an additional ten dollars on some books. He then spent two fifths of the remaining money and an additional eight dollars on some DVDs. So Jason's money is represented by this box. It's a model representing Jason's money and he has spent one fourth of his money, which means his money you will be dividing into four parts and out of the four parts one part of his money plus additional ten dollars is being spent on some books now this ten dollars we do not know whether this is this much or from here to here or even from here to here we don't know that so we are just guessing or we're just putting it an approximate value here as ten dollars now the remaining money after he has spent this whatever remaining money is here we are just drawing it as another box to represent the remaining money and he then spent two-fifth of the remaining money and an additional eight dollars on some dvds so to make it clear, he spent two-fifths of the remaining money. This is the remaining money. So we will divide it into five parts. And we know that he's spending two parts of the five parts. And an additional $8. Again, this is just a guess here. $8 on some DVDs. If he was left with $130, how much money did he have at first? So he, the remaining money that you see here, it's $130. Now, it's very clear that when you combine these two together, which constitute three units, that should be equal to 130 plus 8. So let's see how it goes through. This is $130 plus the $8 here. This forms a total of 130 plus 8. So this whole area which represents 3 units is actually equal to 130 plus 8 which is 138. And we know that it represents 3 units as far as this block is concerned. So 3 units is equal to 138. 1 unit is 138 divided by 3 which gives us 46. So one unit here is $46. Now, that should make clear that we can, if we know one unit is 46, there are totally five units here. So this total would be five units, which is five times 46, which is $230. Now, we are going to use the same concept again, because we know that this whole amount is $230. And this additional amount here you have here is $10. So the total of that plus this $10, 230 plus $10, that gives us $240. And incidentally, look here. This $240 represents the three units that we have here. So the three units is equal to 240. One unit is 240 divided by three, which is 80. So how much money did he have at, have at first? So he had four units at first, which means four units is equal to 80 times four, which is 320. So Jason at first had $320. That's the answer using the Singapore model method.